At the beginning of each of the lessons, I actually ask you to reset the preferences before you start Illustrator. What this does is it resets all of the settings. So if we go through and I tell you, hey, go under view and turn off smart guides. If we don't turn them on again for the next lesson, they're gonna be off. That stuff is sticky, it's called, it's remembered. So what we do is we reset the preferences for Illustrator by removing a small text file that Illustrator creates. So the idea here is this. Open Illustrator once, at least once, okay? Then you can close it. After you close it, you've just created, or Illustrator's just created a little preference. So what I want you to do now is go to a folder, go to your PC, so we're on Windows, right? And I'm gonna go to my local disk here. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to Users, go to your username, so I'm Brian, and now this is where it's gonna get a little tricky because you probably won't see this to start. If I go under view, you're gonna see hidden items. Now your, your operating system might be a little different in where you find this, but we need to show hidden items. So if I go under view and show hidden items, you can now see this folder called app data. That's what we need. So if I open that up and go to roaming, you'll see Adobe. Now you're, you're, what you see in here may be different, that's okay. It depends on how much you have installed and what you've got going on, but just look for the Adobe folder. Open that up. You're gonna see Adobe Illustrator 25 or whatever number you happen to be working on. It could be 26, the next version, or 28, or I don't know. Open that up. You will see a folder in there, which is your language. Yours might be different, mine's in English US. Get into the X64 folder, or whatever you see there. And then you're gonna see Adobe Illustrator preferences. Now, this little text file is something we need to delete. I know it's a little scary, but we're gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna take this thing and you can just throw it into your trash. It's now gone, okay? What you're gonna, gonna then do is you're gonna go open up Illustrator again. So I'm gonna open up Illustrator. Let me open that up. When you open it, as you work, as you do things, what it's gonna do after you close the file is it's gonna rebuild that, it's gonna make another one. So it's using the default settings to start with. So I'll just show you. Okay, Illustrator's open. What I'm gonna do right now is normally you'd go through your lesson, do your lesson, close it, do all that stuff. And at the end of the lesson, you'd close Illustrator, right? If you go take a look, after you do that, the Illustrator press is reborn. So there it is again. This is, these are the default settings that you can start with then.